Hello and welcome to Jesse Goes Zoom. So for today's video, I'm just going to do some gameplay with a character. I have not played with Miguel in a while and I always remember how fun he is while I'm playing with him and then I forget about him for the glitz and glamour of some of the other ones that get higher scores or more coins. So I'm going to do some gameplay with Miguel. You can see that he is level 13 of 15 and his skill level is 1 out of 6. So I have not leveled him up at all. And let's play. All right, so again, standard game. My goal is going to be to clear as many as I can. It looks like he's pretty quick to fill up um, his skill. It looks like 12. And he plays his guitar and he clears some zooms from the bottom. So that's actually a really great thing to know in terms of strategy. Why is that? If he's clearing zooms from the bottom, we want to make sure there are as many zooms at the bottom as he can get. And this would make a difference here. I'll show you. I've got this bubble in the bottom middle right now. You want to make sure that if you're clearing zooms and you're filling him up, that you allow the zooms to settle back down to the bottom of the screen before you... Oh, I just messed that up before you activate his skill. So I'm going to try and show you an example, but basically if you cleared a long chain or you hit a bubble, it takes a second for the screen to repopulate. And if you hit skill while that's happening, you activate a skill while that's happening, he's not going to clear as many zooms as you would get otherwise if you had a full screen. So see how like there's these gaps in the screen before the zooms all fall back into place completely? So I'm gonna clear this section right here and I'm gonna hit this before it's ready. So if you notice that entire right hand section was empty. So that means that's less zooms that are cleared during his skill. That's maybe less points, maybe less coins whatever it is. So I'll show you that example again. I'm going to hit this bubble here. There's nothing in the bottom. Oh, that fell pretty quickly. Bad example. But anyway, generally speaking, you want to clear, you want to make sure that his zooms fall all the way back to the bottom. And that way you can maximize what you're getting out of each of his skills. And that goes for any zoom. If you notice where they're clearing or, you know, the way things are moving or shifting, and I'm gonna say thank you for my 500 coins. And not bad, 1.1 million from him and 486 coins plus the 500. I'll count that as a, a little bonus towards this. So that was some gameplay with Miguel. Have you played with him? How, how does he work out for you? Let me know who else you'd like to see in a future video.